Proto Atlas. Yet another high tier machine board, this one is designed specifically for far range combat, and it is absolutely armed to the teeth to accomplish its goals. Its ranged B attack fires off a pair of shots from its arms. This is similar to Proto Mars's ranged attacks, however this one feels a little bit more damaging, and because the shots converge, it feels like there's a chance that both shots might actually hit, instead of one or the other. Its melee B attack is a simple punch-kick combo. It's relatively quick, and because you've got the armor to take damage, close-range combat is relatively viable with this guy. His charge B ability fires one of the cannons off of its wrists, and acts as a ranged satellite sort of attack, similar to the Cyber Girls. Similarly, these are a little bit finicky to utilize, and typically are reliant on you being closer to your opponent in order to make them work. However, you can use these behind cover and still damage your opponent, giving you a bit of a tactical edge. His X ability fires four lasers from his back. This is basically just an expansion on his standard ranged attack, except instead of two shots, you've got four, so you've got a better chance of hitting your opponent, I suppose. And his charge X ability fires off all four of his satellite cannons at once. All four satellites then converge on their target, launching attacks simultaneously. This is a much safer strategy than simply using your basic satellite attack, but that said, you do have to charge it up, making it a little bit more risky as well. In the end, Proto Atlas is a powerful ranged board, but it can get its hands dirty at close range if necessary. That said, is it worth it to upgrade from your Proto Blue? It ultimately depends on how much you like those satellite cannons, but overall, it's still a fairly solid unit.